in a Bible, holy message shall be. Thy light shall guide me in the narrow way. Preset and promise, law and love confide to right and promise. The next topic that we are to go into now will be delivered by our beloved brother in person of brother Ogujimi from uh, Ocean State. He's going to tell us about Jesus Christ and the many mansions that we have in heaven. The brother that has just left the pulpit made us to understand that what kind of faith are we handing over to our children? And he said it by asking question, will your faith be generational? Telling us that our children, all the children that are in our own control, we must do what? We must give them the faith, like our fathers in the past has given us to us. How are you handing over the faith that you are practicing now to your children? That is the only thing that can give them the hope of glory that we are waiting for. We pray that God will help us to do exactly what God has asked each and every of us to do so that we may teach our children so that they will not forget what we are doing now so that they will carry it over and it will continue to be generational in jesus name yeah. if only in this world we have hope we are all men most miserable let that go with us and god will bless us in jesus name yeah. so we are this time invite our beloved brother brother ayobani ogunjimi so please come forward and tell us about Jesus Christ and the many mansions all of us are waiting for. We invite you, sir, and you are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Ekaro. Ekaro. Aku wajo. Aku yene ajo. Olu amu adele la yo. Eba ankoni. Ile ni lo ke lo wa Ile ni lo do jesu Ma je kin fa ye bono je Ile ni lo ke lo wa Ile ni, ile ni lo ke lo wa Ile ni lo do jesu Ma je kin fa ye bono je Ile ni lo ke lo wa Yes, I'm coming into this uh, wonderful program and the opportunity given to me to speak on this uh, program. I want to thank God for the privilege granted unto us, particularly myself, uh, because I face a lot of uh, uh, you know, difficulties this morning coming here. But I thank God that I'm able to be here. I thank the school for this privilege and also thank all of you for the sacrifice you made to come here, as Dr. Ulabi Ashwali said. Because while we are coming, we said the same thing. Even if somebody said, ah, even if it, if it is evangelism now, we can even know that, ah, I said, let us put more courage. Yes, it is difficult, but it's it worth it. It's worth it. We are saying that that. Uh, Christ and the many mansion, which is said in the book of John chapter 14, verse 1 to 3. This passage is familiar to all of us, but I want us to read it so that we'll be able to see what is there. He said, do not let your heart be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. In my father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. 
Yes. Jesus Christ is worth what he said. And then in his presence with us here, with the world, you see that what he promised to do, he did it. He fed thousands of people. He healed the sick and he did a lot of wonders. My preamble to this is that Jesus' word in this section has a close connection with those in the previous chapter. The trouble feelings of the disciples were experiencing why were analogous to that of Jesus. He approached the grave of Lazarus. When Christ was approaching the grave of Lazarus, he was troubled in heart. And what is the feeling the apostles were feeling at this moment is what Christ was trying to explain here. And what brought this issue was that they, there was a lot of problems uh, previous prior to that statement. The, the trouble feeling that this is that we were experiencing were so analogous also that to that of Jesus as he approached the grave of Lazarus, that John 11 33. Then as he reflected his impending crucifixion in John 12 27, and as he foresaw the betrayal of Judas in John 13 21. Please correct a programmatical error from your book, John 13 uh, 21. It's not John 12 21. It should be no surprise that the hearts of his disciples were anxious. Jesus' recent announcement of his um, upcoming betrayal, betrayal was sufficient to cause them more distress. You see, adding to their concern were his comments to all the disciples in John 13 33 that I am where I am going, you cannot go there now. So all these are what uh, Christ later on now come up and say that in my father's house are many mansions and if it were not so I would have told you as we have limited time I want to thank the first speaker this time around that for what he has uh, done because our presence here is so temporary we are facing a lot of trouble here but we have somebody who is perfect enough to promise us something better to promise us a better place and he has practicalized it twice in our uh, uh, midst he has, has shown us a lot of examples and those things that we need to do so that we might be able to have a uh, eternal home yes as i said earlier it is difficult to comprehend the mental and emotional strain the disciples were experiencing jesus know that the events of the next day would lead them even more unsettled in view of their present and looming distress jesus said to his disciples do not let your heart be troubled and that is that book of john 14 1 8. do not let your heart be troubled that is stop being uh, troubled yes following this negative exhortation jesus encouraged them believe in god believe also in me jesus was sent by his father to do his father's way and with the presence of jesus christ in the world christ could, made us to understand that he came from a better place he brought a better news and he wants us to be in a better place after all then the Lord said that uh we now go straight to the many mansions then I want to have a chorus for us here, though it was a record many years ago. I want to see if that I can still get in touch with that record. He said, My mansion above is better than the whole world. My mansion above, my mansion above, my mansion above is better than the whole world. Ever. Heaven is my mansion above. Yes, my mansion above is better than the whole world. Christ promised a mansion above that where he is, we also might do what might be there. The condition for us to be there, he gave it to us and he helped us, he put us through, he taught us, he gave us all the tools, all the kids that can help us to be in that great uh, mansion above. You see, 
this place will is the issue of house as in the book of uh, in Jerusalem in uh, John chapter 2 verse 16 you remember those who are selling those he said they should not make his father's house a house of uh, merchandise all right you know that is a worldly mansion but where Christ is talking about is not worldly mansion and all of us we know what house meant in fact there are different categories of houses because as i was coming in this uh, place now we saw different types of houses and even if you go to many places you see different types of uh, houses in fact the architect and the, the world is even going higher higher every day but the best of the building the best of the house on earth here is nothing to be compared to where christ is taking us to and please do not have that mind that uh, as the worldly people have it that uh, well as you are contributing money and then they are buying your block and uh, your cement your, they will, you have uh, upstairs or maybe you have a big uh, your own room will be that uh, of a duplex and so and so forth that is worldly thinking the death burial and resurrection of jesus christ is that that prepared that house that mansion over there for you and i and the condition for you to breach and to be able to live in that mansion uh, is that you need to be faithful while you are here this heavenly home the dwelling is not the residential dwelling places as we have it in this uh, world but is it is about a home which christ has paid for a home which he has worked for and he has assisted us there are many there are uh, many interpretations that uh, we have in the Bible. I want to quickly touch this 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 area. Uh, there was no doubt about what is, he had said. Otherwise, he would have said things differently. The RSV and ESV made a question out of the sentence. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? The problem with this is that there is no previous record where Jesus said this. No, it is admitted that Jesus said a lot of things and did a lot of things that was not recorded in the Bible. But the interpretation of that uh, uh, RSV and ESV, uh, uh, the, the way they quoted it is not what I think Christ said. He said, in my father's house are many dwelling places. If it were not so, I would have told you. For I go to prepare a place for you, for you. In many cases, the meaning was clear. Heaven is just as Jesus had described. He will not allow his disciples to be deceived by any false hopes or expectation. Christ has described heaven for his disciples. He has described that where he is, he wants all uh, to be. So, the two main interpretations prevail concerning the meaning of I go to prepare a place for you. Many understand these words to mean that Jesus is not preparing heaven for those who belongs to him. Others see the dwelling places within the Father's house as already being in existence. Why Jesus' glorification will enable those who are his to be with him. From this viewpoint, Jesus did not arrive in heaven to now start a, a building a house. All right. You see, Jesus did not arrive in heaven and then prepare the dwelling place for his disciples. Rather, he's going away by death and resurrection was the means by which the place was prepared for his disciples. Finally, we are strangers, we are healing, healing to the good promise. But through the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, we are now reconciled to God. We cannot be where God is. We can now enjoy the blessing of eternity with God. Like sometimes, uh, when there is problem of this uh, millennialism, they will say that uh, ah, we are going to turn 1,000 years on head. We are going to have this. We are going to have that. Then I normally tell them that look, my friend, for me, I am not here to argue or to make any to for you to tell me uh, this and that. Christ has already said. If we are faithful here ahead, there is a place that he has prepared for us that he will take us to at the end. So, this understanding must be in us that Christ has prepared that place with his death, burial, and resurrection. Yes, Jesus going away 
in order to prepare a place for his disciples were to have certain consequences. He said, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you will be also. In that verse, verse 3. The consequence is that he is coming to take us. Tell us that this has been offered for Jesus' face. Come again. The common views include Jesus returned to the disciples after the resurrection. They thought that that was his coming uh, again. All right. That was after the resurrection. Now, second thought was Jesus is coming to them by means of the Spirit after the exhortation to the, exhortation to the Father. And the third one is that Jesus is coming at the end of the age. Nevertheless, his coming plainly refers to the second coming as vividly as other New Testament writers as written. If you go to the passages quoted, 1 Corinthians 14, 16, Paul talk about his coming to people, coming, coming to the Corinthians, that kind of coming. Then, uh, in, in that book of 2 Thessalonians, we talk about the coming of the lawlessness. Then, in the book of 2 Peter 3, 10, he said the day of the Lord is coming as a thief in the night. So, that coming, 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 Christ himself is coming again to come and receive those who are able to stand fair in his word. I want to conclude by saying, Christians are expected to be faithful to the master Jesus while we are in the world, so as to be able to receive the promise of God. We are expected to be faithful. Like, I want to tell you, <laughs> the, this Christianity is practical. It is not something of theory. I may be speaking like an angel. I may be quoting the I may know Bible from Genesis to Revelation. But if I'm not practical, I am just a fake person. If you are not practical, you are fake. If your life is not the light Christ said is not seen in you, it is fake. And if the sword that Christ called us is not enough, it is fake. And that is why the problem we are having today, we have theoretical Christian. And that is why the, the product we are producing is showing the seed that we sow. Many families today, there is problem. You cannot call the children that let us go and listen to the word of God. They tell you how much are they, they going to share there. Are we going to collect money? Then, because the father and mother, they are all after making money. Some, some family... They have the hair go to the tune that they look at others as, as rats. They don't think you even have any right. Because that is the way we, the parents, we are. We, we talk about other brothers in their presence as a useless entity. Then some mothers, they, clarify, they, they talk to their husband in the presence of the children in a very bad way. So, what they are doing will repeat itself because these children, they learn faster than, uh, faster practically than theoretically. You see that many things our children uh, do, they are the replicate of what we are doing. As we are in the world, we are here for a mission and we have been uh, reconciled to God and we need to have that in our mind that for us to have uh, happiness in the future, we need to let our children uh, live a good life that our children will learn and they will follow in our steps. You see, the Bible said that Christ came. He laid an example that we must follow in his steps. And if we have been so called, we also need to now follow the footsteps of Jesus. The way these footsteps of Jesus will follow, our children or family members will as well follow our food self. It is what will give priority that you will invest most of your resources into. And that is why I join her in, in, in thanking all that let their daily activities, their money, their everything, they sacrifice and come here simply because of the word of God. You see, it is worth it here. And then, if we if we listen to this word and the word remote us, then we will be able to be heaven comply. Com, we'll be able to comply uh, to be comply as to the heavenly standard. So, for us to have good future, for us to have hope that after living here, 
our families will not be wasted to the hand of the devil. We need to work hard now. That mansion is there. The person that promised that mansion is a faithful God. He will never deceive. In fact, he has it. Like I never said to people, I said that, look, there are some certain things that uh, if I as a human may promise you, and I know that I have that thing, there may be difficulty in me getting that thing to meet up with your need. But this God that promised us is, is a faithful God. He's having that thing in abundance. I said, if computer, if you can program computer, you put this, put this, and you get a result, then God has programmed the world that if you do it this way, this is the result you are going to get. And the final result is, we, uh, that we are talking about is that mansion. I want to tell you emphatically, categorically, that this promise of Jesus Christ is sure and amen. It is true because he was with his disciples. He did a lot of things. And in our life as Christians, if presently you are not yet witnessing the fulfillment of the promise of Christ in your life, then go and reevaluate yourself. Go and check your system. Go and look at what are you up to? If God is not ministering to you, if you are not seeing this, receiving these promises, then one thing is that uh, you will buy some new pay, irregulars, uh, no photo, but by the joke, only Uma Barare, when you are in the Kobe, Alubasa, Kowani, Ogo, Akagini, Kole Kako, Kolodi, Alubasa, Etetua, Antarawa. Awa omo ijobo orun o po da opolopo nkan ni Jesus so fun wa nipa ile etorun yen iwo to ba fe lo ile etorun yen o gbodo je ki ese omo ni keji ki orun owo baba ninu okan re abi ki Jesus wi oni ka ma se je ki orun wo ba ibi nu wa oni ti e de aye de ba wa na ri wa Katwa and Tosa Wano, I because we go. Say that, I say, upon up our, as your do me, do do, as your boy do, as one no diary, you are, oh, no, be caca, you know, the man who don't talk, there's the devil, the bro, Subaru, a woe, Tiabani, Kubo, what did the girls come away with our money, that you are, all that, ah, but I'm not kidding. Obanetini ya 2000 na kini ah eti to ba mi ye mo ti ti so fun mo mi mo ti so fun yawo mi mo so n gbogbo awon ore mi ba ma kini o si na ti mo ma kini o si ba n leti se ni ni to tin du ko ma subu lo we gba mi e ma wo so look at all of us most of you you are very good here you quote bible heaven heaven will nearly fall and you can argue to ba wa ni platform our members of of Christ ah eh to ba wa platform o ka 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 to ba ka de gbede ke ka awon ebu atu bere then agbara wa be si gba lagbara e do na what is the word that Christ? is it the, 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 so so kiss the bell as e ka bo ka gbe da oni we will now this end of us to talk on righteousness but as the best evangelism ni no age ni ugo Moki ba ma kede ati gbogbo awon to wa ni to si bi eye me lo nu awon ta wa lati kini la le gbori ai lo n faraji won wa nu lati ma ri pe won touch so o kan me lo le mi touch ni adugo mi a de n soro mo se lorun o lo orun jesus pe se le lo to sugbe ko pese fun awon ti inu wo mo ko pese fun awon ti n dogbe sa jo lati wa su oro olorun o fe lo se wa su ta gba nbo ti lo ri awon ke ke mo bi ke ri pe ke ro le wa ko pese e fun awon to nko iro lo fun ebo pe mo ti ba disi eye npo 150 to si ya photo awon family meet te wa ko pese e lo le fun awon to nlu iyawo won ko pese e fun awon to yiwe to nparo se ri e wo opolopo dile ki jesu ba de ni si to ba dine to ba fe evaluate pe idile re okay ani 
So my beloved says, I want to tell you that Christianity is practical. And I don't tell you, talk about my people, the millennialism, talk about the ebero <laughs> So Allahu <laughs> You